let's say we're cutting in with a two blade and we're cutting it. After the presentations, we talked about the manufacturing process for the top three choices. Ideas were flowing and the class was excited to share and build on each other's ideas. After all the ideas were on the table and knowing that our instructors could live with any of the top three designs, we put them up for another vote. The Helix won 13 to 5. We have been focused on refining our design and figuring out how we're going to manufacture it. And although we are getting closer to being able to order parts, there are still a lot of unknowns. A curve like this. Although the class was given lessons using Inventor Design software, it's up to Phil, the most experienced designer, to translate our ideas into a workable design. After weeks in the design process, our turbine is finally starting to take shape. Even after agreeing on a basic design, there was still quite a bit of planning required before we could start producing parts. It took over an hour to cut the first piece of foam. The road was open, but still under construction. It felt like driving on rumble strips. Paul's positioning braces saved the day. They made it possible to quickly attach the jig to the foam and greatly sped up our process. With two teams working at the same time, they were able to cut more than 40 pieces on their best day. Watching the stacks of cut foam pile higher and higher every day has made us realize how huge this thing is going to be. Of course, like the last class's turbine, it's going to look teeny next to the 145 foot wind turbine that powers 15% of the technical wing at KVCC. The electrical team has made progress. They designed and built a wire winding jig. It worked so well that they have all of their copper windings done. The rotor and stator designs are being finalized. The generator will be inside a 12 foot tall housing that we will mount our turbine on. A high priority piece of the puzzle is figuring out how everything is going to fit together inside that box. Bob Ackerman was appointed as the project manager. We partnered to create a spreadsheet shared by the class to keep track of our progress, upcoming goals, instructor comments, and materials. Everyone is feeling the time crunch at this point. Sanding this enormous turbine is going to be a huge time commitment. We're all expecting to put in time outside of class so we can finish it before the semester ends. We've got to get this thing together too because the actual building, the actual built wind turbine is worth 40% of the grade. So, we're in progress on all the machining. That looks all pretty good. We're just making parts as we go. Uh, the design, are we finalized there? Top of the pole, generator casing, base, and the welding side. Anything else out there that needs to be welded? It, it, is our braking system itself sufficient enough to stop that inertia? This conversation's been going on now for four or five weeks about this brake assembly. Yeah. We have the lift system figured out. I know you're working on that cable system. Is that, are we okay with that? Are we finalized? Cable system. Are we going to put a cable through the center cable. of the pole? We're really getting down into tight time here. And, you know, this is the time where we just got to quit thinking about it and execute. Execute, execute, execute. All right, let's go on out and hit it. Joey, would you have a spec sheet on that brake?